Hi everybody, it's me, Jess here, back with another video today. I haven't filmed on this channel in forever, but I thought today I would bring you a curly hair video. Um, this is currently the state of my hair. This is like day three-ish hair. Um, not looking good. I'm not one to refresh my hair. Refreshing just does not work for me. Um, so today we're going to be washing it. I wasn't going to, but I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Um, and it's going to be a product battle video. So I'm going to be splitting my hair down the middle and doing a product on this side, a product on this side. Here are our two products. <laughs> so I'm going to be using two different mousses today. These two mousses have been really, really popular in the curly community currently. Um, so first off, we have the Cake Natural Lux Beauty Curl Whip Mousse. Um, totally to die, to die for whipped curl mousse, big curl boosting, defrizz defining, hold no sticky, no crunch mousse. And also the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. Um, both of these have been extremely popular in the curly hair community currently. Um, I have already used both, not doing it, you know, side by side, um, and still kind of like going back and forth. I'm not really sure which one I like better. I think I know which one I like better, but I don't know. So I thought, why not make a video of me doing them, you know, side by side, and we can really tell what works better and so you can know what to purchase. But with that being said, curl types are all different. Our hair is all different and may like different things. Um, for instance, I tried um, Curl Smith the other day, which has been highly raved upon in the curly hair community. And let me tell you, I've never hated a product so much. So let's just get that said. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, so yeah, we'll be trying these. I will be using my normal styling routine, which would consist of a cream, a gel, and then laying, layering with the mousse. I'm not going to just be trying, you know, one or the other, because that's not how I would, that's just not how I would wear my hair. Whenever I have been trying these out on the daily, I've been using my cream, my gel, and then the mousse. So that's what we're going to do today. My hair is looking so rough, I can't wait to wash it. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna show you the products I will be using in the shower. Um, so first off, I am going to be using a protein treatment today. Um, just Cause I feel like my hair could kinda use it. So I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Treatment. So we'll just be using that in the shower. I'll shampoo that out just with whatever I have. Um, shampoo I just use really whatever and then I'm gonna go in with my weed ad advanced climate control um, conditioner currently what I'm using nothing crazy then for my cream I will go in with the weed ad advanced climate control feather light styling cream which I absolutely love and then weed ad advanced climate control heat and humidity gel not sponsored by Weedad, I wish. I just really like their advanced um, climate control line. Really like it for the summertime. You know, just makes me feel nice and protected against that summer heat. So I will be using those products um, and then we'll be layering the mousses on top and we will find out which I like better. So without further ado, let me go ahead and hop in the shower, get this hair washed, and I'll be back with you whenever we are ready to apply the mousse. Okay, so I've gone ahead and washed my hair. I have it styled, I have my cream in it, I have my gel in it, I brushed through it. Um, so it's all ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just put the Cake Beauty um, on the left side and the Curl Talk on the right side, I guess. So let's go ahead and start with the Cake Beauty. Okay, so let's just make sure we can split this already split down the middle. Just gonna give it a shake. And I'm gonna use about that much. A lot comes out of this one and it'll keep coming out of the bottle. Just something to note. Um, but it's really, really light, really airy, fluffy, and it smells amazing. It smells like like lemon cake. It smells so good. So we're just going to go ahead and apply this to the side, just kind of by dabbing some of that lime. 
and this is a tiny bit too much. I mean, not used to doing it for one side, so I'm gonna rinse a little bit off. That should be good. I'm getting it all over my floor. I usually do this over the bathtub. I'm gonna rinse a little bit more out. So we're just gonna go ahead and scrunch. And let me tell you, it smells so good. I am one for smells. Like if it doesn't smell good, I cannot use it. But I will have you know that um, after this dries, you don't smell it. You don't, you don't smell, um, you really don't smell it. You only smell it when putting it in. Okay. So just have that nice and scrunched in there. And then let's go ahead and do the right side. Let's go ahead and do the right side with the curl top. Okay, giving it a good shake. I like the way that this nozzle is. This one is a little bit more controlled, but you can see it's a little bit more kind of liquidy the way it comes out, but much more controlled. While the cake, it's still kind of, it just spurts out a little bit. That's all that it is, but so very similar consistency. The smell of this one is kind of odd. Um, so if you're one for smells, this one might not be it. A um, little bit more kind of airy than the cake, but it it has a really odd smell that I haven't heard many people talk about. Um, it kind of smells good at first, like it smells just kind of like a normal, um, like, you know, a normal scented pear gel cream, whatever, you know? type of thing. Okay, I'm gonna rinse a little bit of this off. It smells pretty normal at first, but it has this like undertone, if, if that's what I wanna call it, like an undertone, where it smells like like warm, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. That probably sounds so gross, but it just kinda has this odd like undertone. Like you don't really smell it at first. So it kinda has a funky smell, but to be honest, like to me, it's not a smell that bothers me very much and you don't smell it after it's dry. So, but if you don't like smells, certain smells, you might not like the curl talk. Okay, so we have that all nice and scrunched in too. I'm already seeing a bit of a difference um, just from them being wet. Wiping off my hands, I did, and giving the cake side a scrunch. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Just trying to adjust the camera a little bit. So we have curl talk on this side and the cake on the side. So far to me, um, it's looking like this side with the curl talk. I put the cap on the wrong one. Um, it's looking like curl talk looks a little bit more curly, like just has a little bit more, um, curl to it there. Um, you know, the side's looking a little bit curlier, a little bit like shorter, you know, um, that's just kind of what I'm noticing so far. It's also kind of hard because, you know, from, I think most curly girls, you have one side that's better than the other. You know what I mean? Like it has a little bit more curl or whatever. So they're a little bit different, but I'm really interested to see how this looks once it dries. So I will see you back after we're dry. Okay, so I'm back. My hair is all dry. Here's what we have. So on the left, we have the Cake Beauty. And on the right, we have the Not Your Mother's Crow Talk. I don't see much of a difference at all. I think maybe, honestly, the Not Your Mother's is a little bit curlier, but it might just be that this side of my head is a little bit curlier because it kind of is. But I don't know, both look really good. Let me know what you think. Thought I would show you in some different lighting as well. So on this side, we have the Cake Beauty Mousse. And on this side, we have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. And the back. Okay. 
So yeah, you can kind of see the underneath on both sides are looking pretty much the same. I don't know, the Not Your Mother side is impressing me a bit more and that was not what I was thinking. I was thinking the Cake Beauty, but over here it's just a little bit, I mean, my curls on the side are a little bit looser so it, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's looking just significantly looser on the side while this side is just much curlier but again this side is usually a bit curlier so it's kind of hard it's hard to tell so yeah I'm not really sure I feel like almost the not your mother side has a little bit more like shine to it smell wise smell smell like nothing so that's good Yeah, I don't know guys, but I will update you on day two hair so we can see what this is looking like because that is the real test. So tomorrow I will be working out in the morning. So this hair will have a night's worth of sleep as well as a workout. So I will check back in with you all then. Okay, so I'm back. I have worked out and slept on this hair. Let's see what it's looking like. Ooh. Okay, so this is the Not Your Mother's side. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. This is the Not Your Mother's side. And the cake beauty side. I think the difference is kind of obvious. Over here we're looking quite loose, but the thing is, like I said, is these pieces up here are usually quite loose. Um, but honestly, I think the Not Your Mother's side wins. I think it's pretty much obvious. I don't know. Um, I'll have to Maybe insert a clip of me using the Not Your Mother's on my whole head and see if this side actually looks any different. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious as to how it will really hold up in the heat in general. So um, I'm going to go on a run later today. Um, it's pretty hot out, pretty humid. So we'll see how this hair holds up in the heat. Um, and it feels good. It feels pretty good. Um, I have noticed with using these um, and when with being out in the heat, um, it, by the end of the day, it kind of has like a weird texture to it. Um, so that's my only concern um, is texture wise, but currently it feels good, but I also haven't been out in the heat. So I will update you after my run. All right, everybody, so I'm back. I went on a run. I just tucked my hair down. So it was quite humid and a little bit of spritzes from the from rain that was coming but not not really not enough to affect it at all so this is going to be the final update on the hair um on the cake beauty mousse side versus the not your mother's so here we go not your mother's side and the underneath and the cake beauty side and the underneath so honestly i see um a pretty big difference um this side just looks way curlier with the not your mother's and this side is honestly quite stretched out these pieces get really stretched out but again it's really hard because these front pieces always get really stretched out um, so this side, I don't know if it's just the fact that it's just really stretched out. Um, but I'm interested to try the Not Your Mother's on my whole head again and kind of see, uh, in comparison what this looks like. But yeah, um, nonetheless, two really, really great products, great mousses to, I think, layer over top of, you know, your creams and gels, or obviously you can use them alone as well. I will go ahead and show you the back. 
I haven't added anything to it. I haven't refreshed it or nothing. I just worked out today. Um, and yeah, so, so. yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Um, from what I can visually see, I would say the Not Your Mother side is performing a little bit better. But I don't know. I really thought I was going to like the Cake Beauty more. The Cake Beauty just smells so, so, so good. So I don't know. But I'm definitely going to still use both of them. Um, and maybe I can do an update video of using my whole head with um, the Cake side and a whole hair with uh, the Not Your Mother side too. Maybe a different type of video. But anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Maybe you were able to decide which one you would like to purchase and start with. Both of them, price-wise, I didn't mention. Um, I think they're pretty similar. I think I got the Not Your Mother's for like $7. And the Cake Beauty I bought on Amazon for, I think, around $9. So um, nothing too crazy. And they last you a really long time. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And if there's any other types of curly hair videos you want to see, comparison videos, I can do an updated curly hair routine. Um, anything curly hair or anything at all let me know in the description box below if you're interested in asmr go ahead and check out my asmr channel which is just just asmr on youtube i will see you all in my next video